And Kelly, you mentioned that fire this morning. The search is still on for that worker still missing following a pipeline explosion at a plant in St. Charles Parish. As you can just see the flames lighting up the night sky. And right now, three people are in the hospital after being hurt, and that fire is still burning. Yeah, 60 homes had to be evacuated from the area. And WDS reporter Kelsey Davis joins us live now with how families are being helped in the latest on the fire. Good morning, Kelsey. Hey Charles, good morning. We're live in Luling at the Dufresne Community Center. This is where people who are evacuated from their homes or people who cannot get to their homes are welcome to come and stay. Uh, the shelter being uh, provided by the Red Cross here in St. Charles Parish. And you guys mentioned that fire is still lighting up the night sky. We are coming into St. Charles Parish this morning over the Hale Boggs Bridge, and you can definitely see that fire still burning off in the distance over in Paradis. Now, Sheriff Greg Champagne tells us the explosion and fire started around 7 o'clock last night along a Phillips Petroleum Pipeline. The plant process is natural gas and its byproducts. The sheriff says uh, workers were cleaning the pipeline when for reasons unknown it ignited. Six workers were there at the time this morning. Five of those workers are accounted for. One is at a hospital in Raceland. One is being treated for burns in Baton Rouge and three others walked away with minor to no injuries. As you just heard uh, Randy and Charles just say one of those workers who was there at the time of the explosion is still missing this morning. Now the sheriff says while the fire is burning clean, it's not the uh, what it's burning is not a threat to the environment. Uh, um, it's pretty much a large blowtorch and they cannot get close enough to it to work on putting it out and they can't even put water on it when they do get close enough. It's just highly flammable, obviously. No, it's not a danger. As long as it's burned, if it burns off, it appears you know, it, it shouldn't be a danger. And is that like it's just a, a matter of problem? getting it burned off and they're trying to you know, shut it off at sources. It, it has been shut off at the main source, but those are miles away. So they're looking for some valves that are closer to be able to shut it down so that it won't burn so long. Now, the sheriff says uh, when the fire started last night, 60 homes along Old Spanish Trail Road were evacuated and we're told those who live between Highway 635 and 306 Bayou Gosh Road are not, not are not being allowed back into their homes at this time. However, officials say if you live west of Highway 635, you can return to your home again. If you were evacuated last night or cannot get back to your home right now, the Red Cross is providing shelter here at the Dufresne Community Center in Luling. For now, reporting live in Luling, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.